Now, the primary center where the black other was located was certainly the dark continent, Africa. And the problem of the black Africa was that they did not have had, according to the European perception, history. There were people without history. And if there were people without history, obviously they cannot be in the business of making nations. No history, no nations. And therefore it was necessary to civilize them also. So it's very important to note a distinction here. In the new world, the Americas, Australia, etc., I often said that it was replicative colonialism. The Europeans went there and replicated their society there. The new world has become our world now. But in the case of Africa, and later I will talk about Asia, colonialism was retreatist colonialism. They went there, ruled for some centuries, and then had to retreat because of the anti-imperialist struggle. But what happened? or what is important from our point of view of the cultural globalization is, in the case of the new world, a new cultural system, predominantly European, was transplanted. But in the case of Africa and Asia, there were, they left some cultural deposits, but did not change everything completely. Now, if you take a moment off to look at the empirical situation, look at Africa. There are about, um, I think, um, 50 or so states in Africa, and um, a large number of them have uh, one of the European languages as the dominant or the official language, English, French, Portuguese, etc. So you can talk in terms of an English Africa, a French Africa, a Portuguese Africa, etc. Similarly, religion. About 50% of the people in the African continent are today Christians. The vast majority of the rest are uh, Muslims. And of course, because of the Islamic influence, the Arabic language is also there. So both conquest and colonialism did bring about changes in the cultural context. I'm specifically talking about now religion and language. But unlike in the New World, you will find what comes to obtain in Africa is a curious mixture. A mixture in terms of uh, European culture, Islamic culture and local. In many places it is some kind of a syncretic culture. Again, I'm trying to uh, hammer out the point. You cannot really think in terms of the world culture as one slice. There are various uh, permutations and combinations to recall what I have uh, said earlier. 